Good afternoon. My name is Ann Simpson, and I am the president of the Fairfield Harbor POA. Um, I welcome you to the 20th annual parade for Fairfield Harbor. We're going to have a wonderful day here, and I'd like to have this gentleman next to me introduce himself. Well, thank you, Ann. My name is Joe Schultes, and I'm one of seven directors on the board of directors here at Fairfield Harbor Property Owners Association. And the, the nice thing about this afternoon, it's it's a little cloudy and it's overcast, and the weather and it's like that North Carolina feel of winter to it. It's it's a little brisk out here, but I suppose the weather for North Carolina Christmas parade is going to be absolutely perfect for us. Today's parade will feature the, the color guard, the local high school marching band. A variety of flo uh, floats that were basically created by our community organizations and the various groups. Um, and of course, at the end, there'll be that appearance from... Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Jolly Old St. Nicholas Santa Claus. So we're looking forward to that. It's uh, The parade is on its way down Pelican Drive right now. And what we have is we're going to have a few groups missing, so we're a little disappointed in that. And what we're going to do is start out by making a, a few announcements of what's coming our way. Okay, what it looks like coming up the street, we have our, our national colors, and we have a, uh, a little color guard that has the, the national colors, the United States flag, plus the flag of the United States Auxiliary. We're so proud of them and, you know, just it makes us feel so good about our own country. The, the color guard itself just represents and adds a lot of dignity to the show and to our nation and all those who have served it and will continue to serve it. We thank you all, veterans, and those on active duty. Coming along next is the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary. As flotilla commander, FC Bill provides a primary leadership and supervision to the flotilla. The FC is the re responsible to assure that overall flotilla programs conform to the Coast Guard and auxiliary policies, and this flotilla has thousands of hours of volunteer and time logged for operation, training, and public affairs vessel exams, and the host of other activities. Flotilla 2005 in New Bern directly supports the Coast Guard Station in Hobucken in the Upper News River area. All right, and we're going to have to move on to the next. We've got the West Craven Marching Eagles, and they're directed by Andrew Hedgecock. These youngsters from West Craven High School, which is located in Vanceboro, North Carolina. The band program includes marching band, concert band, jazz band, basketball pep band, percussion ensemble, indoor percussion, and indoor color guard. The marching band is the school's largest organization with more than 1,000 members of students and participating this year. These folks are dedicated to music, long rehearsals, memorized music, lots of practice hours, camaraderie. Now, this is the 2016 Grand Marshal of the Parade, Waldeen Giacobbe. Waldeen has been the chairperson for the POA Christmas Parade for 17 years, and now she is being honored as our Grand Marshal. She and her husband moved here 30 years ago from Nebraska. Since moving here, she has been involved in real estate and speaks about selling homes and homes and dreams right here in Fairfield Harbor. Okay, what just passed us, Anne, was Tom Mark, our county commissioner. He's moved into our community in the year 2000, and he's been county commissioner since 2010. He's on his second term right now, re-elected. POA, and The POA, we have more than 25 social groups and clubs in Fairfield Harbor, and we, the directors and officers of the Fairfield Harbor Board, can't thank the chairs and committee members enough 
You're a caring community, you are a charitable community, and most of you are a very thoughtful community. And now, Ann, we're, we're going to go on to the, the coffee clutch, I notice, is going through. And these guys, the, the men's group, meet six days a week for coffee and discussion. They raise and donate over $800 a year to various charities, and they generate through charging themselves 25 cents a day for coffee plus $5 for special events. Ladies Golf Association, the theme this year is Nuts About Golf. A big peanut with a person inside and golf carts and walkers. Members play weekly tournaments for 9 and 11 holes, March through November, in fellowship and friendly competition. Hey, what is it? This is <laughs> Hey, Chris. I know you're nuts about golf. You're great. And, and here they all come. And, and, and the, the ladies, these leagues are, are friendly and welcoming. With uh, They have a very competitive you know, twist about them. They, they seem very calm, but believe me, these ladies know how to be competitive. The, the joke when you're unable to play any longer, Anne, is you become a social member and must be ready to party. Uh, when they get bored at some of their normal games, they create their own rules for golf com competitions. Just a great group and always very, very cheerful, just like they seem today. And when they're not playing, they're volunteering for other groups in the community. Most of these ladies are infamous or famous for what they do and make us laugh. And they're, oh, as a matter of fact, there's a member of, um, a, a previous member of the board of directors uh, Joan Taylor. Well, oh, preceding Joan, though, look who's in that court right there. What does she remind you of? That's Jan. Jan? <laughs> Jan? Yeah, she, she's, you know, she's in the Follies and just. Jan, me and pull, yeah. pulling up now. Hey, Jan, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sup oh, Here peanuts. We go. And? Zumba. Where are we? Pretty much the most awesome workout ever dance to great music with great people, and burn a ton of calories without even realizing it. A total workout combining all element, elements of fitness, cardio, muscle conditioning, balance, and flexibility. Actually, yeah, I'm going to pick up with pickleball that's in front of us right now. And the pickleball players, uh, they play with a, a paddle. They have their own courts now on Court Drive Inn, and it's a game whose popularity is explosive. That was led by Sandy Quinn. Make a wish. Yeah. That's not, where's the red, the red car? car. <laughs> but um, pickleball, these, these are still pickleball people. You can tell from their, their shirts. They invite people of all skill levels. The rules are simple and the game is easy for beginners to learn, but they can develop into a fast, quick paced competition. Next is Make-A-Wish. Participating in our parade today is a special recipient of Make-A-Wish conditions in order to, to offer hope, strength, and joy. Driven by Wayne Strasbaugh in his 2008 Pontiac G8 is little Lily Grace Hudson. Lily Grace was born with Dandy Walker syndrome, a congenital brain malformation that causes seizure. Lily Grace wish was granted by Make-A-Wish a few weeks ago. She and her entire family visited Disney World. Her favorite part was meeting the Disney characters. And then back with, uh, with Lily Grace is her mom, I'm assuming. That would be Christy Hudson. Behind Lily Grace in her beautiful red car is a red Jeep, equally as pretty, um, from Resorts. It is. It's Resorts Management Group. And it's a, a decorated red Jeep, Jeep, and Sarah Herman is one of the co-owners of that organization. That's a full-service company that specializes in Fairfield Harbor timeshares, sales, and rentals. If you have visitors coming to your home and you have no room left, give RMG a call. The Fishing Club. The Fishing Club, one of my, one close to, to my heart. 
members with and without boats participate in fishing seminars, trips, <laughs> tournaments, and meetings. Many local fishing guides visit the club and provide members with experts' advice on targeting local species like red drum, speckled trout, and striped bass. It's, a, it's just a, a, a great, great club, and we're, you know, we're just so proud to be part of them. They're 13 years old now. These, these people started in 2004, Ann. Wow. And they're pulling up the rear in a Palm Beach Motorboat well, actually, with this a fish? is this is I think still part of yeah Merry oh, Christmas Oh Merry Christmas from the fishing club Bob Brudgeworth yeah. Maine Massetti and Elmer Stencil were the founders they, they announced were. very good now we got that tennis club girl. oh here comes the tennis club the tennis club is a group of approximately 50 members who play regularly on the courts at Red Sail Park the group consists of men women and mixed tennis players members are also participate in various tennis opportunities throughout Craven County. This five-year members of the club have been qualified in the local senior games. Two members played in mixed doubles at the state tournament in Asheville. Jean Horskovski and Doreen Hyatt both won medals at the state games in Raleigh and will go for the fourth time to the national senior games in Birmingham. Next up, Ben, we have the, the Men's Golf Association. The MGA features play of all levels and skills. Uh, there's two sets of tees with several play group and playtime options to pick from. They involve themselves in some of the local tournaments, and it's a challenge, and it's mild, mildly competitive, and they enjoy the atmosphere, that's, that's for sure. They always have several social events throughout the season, and they can relax and ponder their near misses and near hits Pino. of the day. Pino, here's Pino and Charlie and Hankey. Charlie Hankey, yeah. Pino's a little doggy. He's adorable. More golf carts with more men and yeah, their wives. More MGA. And then look who's coming up next here. Next, the next unit is Harbor Helpers. Um, Dick Stewart is um, riding in the golf cart. Harborite volunteers provide services for other people in our community, free of charge. Members provide temporary help for those in need. Transportation for appointments, errands, shoppings, prescription pickup, minor repair work around the house, meal preparation, dog walking, and letter writing. If you have someone you know needs help because of illness, the death of a spouse, or for any other reason, please call Harbor Helpers. And there it goes, Nelson's Blueberry Farm, written by Debbie Gustafson. Nelson's is uh, on the highway of 55 and 17, and they've been there for 77 years. And they have the best blueberries in all of Eastern North Carolina. Next Harbor is Hair Harbor Design. Hair. Kim Bennett. <laughs> Kim Bennett and, and her sidekick Michelle yeah. are wishing us a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in and their Big Easy Go. Big Apple. Big Apple. Sarah Walston. It's a, a pizza restaurant, just part of our very caring community. They also Thank participate you. in a Halloween trunk or treat event that we hold every single year. Next, sports cars. Next are the sports car club. Ed Bogslowski and 10 sports cards. Ed and Aaron, Aaron are right in front of us with their 2006 Mazda MX-5. It is a apple red car. Shiny, shiny, shiny. The next one in line in is a 1990 Maserati. This was actually uh, almost a prototype that was developed between Chrysler and Maserati. It was actually manufactured in Italy. Beautiful car. The next car is owned by John and Dem Rothengrast, a 2003 Mercedes-Benz 320 SLK. Another 2006 Mazda MX-5, owned by Har Harold Howard and Nancy Neveser. Joel and Elaine Burbridge are riding in their 1991 Mazda RX-7. And here's that pretty silver 2007 Porch Cayman. 
Linda Lidveet is driving that car. Well, it doesn't look like Linda, but uh, it's a beautiful car. Next is what I love to call the Polaris Slingshot Batmobile. It's an interesting car, and kids love to watch that car come down the line. And there goes Joyce and Janine Wortham in their 1970s Triumph TR6. And next is the Yacht Club. The Yacht Club property, property owners with registered, registered boats may seek membership. Activities include long and short cruises, regattas, dinghy and model boat races, socials, monthly meetings with guest, spe guest speakers, educational programs, and community support programs. And here comes that boat. This is a... The Yacht Club this year, Ann, is featuring this 1947 17-foot runabout owned by Russ and Barb Robinson. Look at this boat, Ann. This is absolutely beautiful. This boat is all beautifully uh, restored with um, shiny wood. It's just beautiful. It's what, kind what of reminiscent, movie? Joe. Yeah, go ahead. It's a Chris Craft. Go it's ahead a, and say okay. it. Okay, on Golden Pond. On it's Golden just Pond. so it's, reminiscent the of movie that movie I thought of movie. as soon as I saw it. This also, this trophy boat, this is pretty handsome looking craft right here. Decorated fully and for Christmas time. Merry Christmas, folks. It's, it is beautiful. It's very well decorated, and it says, ho, 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 from sea to shining sea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we, we have some pirates. Isn't there pirates somewhere on this, on our list? No. And here comes the in this VW that's driven. Isn't that Sam Curry and his it's, wife Dell? It is Sam Curry and his wife Dell. And now we have your garden club. This is your folks, Ann? Yes, this is the garden club. Merry Members Christmas. exchange Merry knowledge Christmas. and share experience about gardening in eastern North Carolina. <laughs> Members Thank you. exchange all kinds of things. Sometimes they even swap plants to provide extra uh, plants for people that uh, don't necessarily have them. Again, here's another beautifully decorated golf cart. It's blue and on the back has a white snowman. And it looks like a frosty. It just looks like a frosty with a carrot nose. It's a little bit unusual. It is very, very cute. I totally agree. This, this trailer looks familiar to me, Ann, coming up. I'm assuming that we're talking Sir Trailer. And, and this, this group is actually directed by Don Simpson. The community, the community emergency response team trains volunteers that support first responders by aiding victims, providing damage assessment, light rescue and security, as well as crowd and traffic control. Also provide education and hazards mitigation to the community. Here they go, and this is their trailer. Thank goodness, Ann, we don't see this trailer in action a lot, but it's nice to know these folks are here. If there is a they're, disaster, they're, they will... Yeah, go ahead, please. They will, they will assist others in the community until professional responders are available. There will be enough first responders to assist after a disaster. Is, there is a need for these on the ground folks who have been professionally trained. Each and every one of these members have the desire to help people. And here we have a, believe it or not, a 1963 Chevy Nova. It's driven by Tom Smith and his wife Elaine. And that car, that car means a lot to me because I graduated high school in 1963 and... <laughs> All right, here we go with the first capital chapter of the Antique Auto Club of America. First car by Marshall Van Winkle, a barn find. And it does say barn fresh, but it's interesting. A barn find is a, a car that you'd find in a barn. You take it out, make it run, but then you don't clean the dirt. Some of that 80-year-old dirt will stay in there forever. 
Next, just past us, I guess, was Ben Watford, and it's 1934, and who's coming up now? Right coming up next is Richard Farrow and his wife, Vicki, in their 1931 Ford Model A four-door sedan. Merry Christmas. Now here's, here's a car. This is a luxury car of years ago. It's a 1931 Pontiac Cabriolet by the Wagners, owned by Fred and his wife, Annette Wagner. Merry Christmas. What a beautiful How car. How about this 1940 Plymouth owned by Charles Wells? This is a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. You should recognize the next car in this group, Ann. Well, one of my favorite cars, one which I own presently, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. However, this one is was from 1969. Beautiful car. Fire and Rescue is here, and you know when they're coming, because uh -huh. you, you hear all those blaring sirens. This group of emergency personnel represent community risk reduction. They can literally be a lifesaver just from the fire point of view. We're so fortunate to have one of their substations right here in our community. Such a critical part of the community. We're so proud of them, and of course, we're very, very thankful to them. What number we have here, 13E3. That's Marshall Smith. Yeah, Marshall. Go, Marshall. Next vehicle we have is number 13. 1304. Yeah. I, I love these, these sirens, and it's uh, but when you really stop and think about this, a lot happens with our own substation, you know, which is managed by Matt Sperko, the assistant chief, and he has 12 people that each and every one of them is out of Fairfield Harbor. They happen to be all men, but you can have women there. They're always looking for volunteers. They always have meetings on Wednesday morning. If you want to be part of the volunteer fire department, please, please come join them and see them. When I look at... When I look at these vehicles, and all I can think about is these folks are running into burning buildings that other people are running out of. It's an amazing group of people um, who are always at the ready. They seem to love what they do. It's just an incredible camaraderie. And driving in this particular vehicle is Matt Spierko. Our assistant chief our assistant with chief his red his nose, white, white nose. Yeah. yeah. How wonderful. 13E9 truck by Carl. Carl Muhlenhausen. More, more power coming down the street. 13E8 is driven by. We got to say him first, but I think we're going to safely say it's driven by Tim Miller. And it is Tim Miller. Merry Hi, Tim. Christmas to Merry Christmas. Next, we have the bridge and the EMS, which I think our own folks call. They refer to it as 17, and they're always here when we need them. Wonderful, wonderful group. Thirteen E2 men. President and Keith Gaskins. Hello, Mr. Gaskins. Merry Christmas. How nice. Uh-oh, I see that vehicle coming up that has that special passenger now, Ann. Oh, I see him coming. Yeah. It seems to me that he has on a, a red suit. Can you see him, Joe? I can see him. I can see that, that red suit. And a, and a big white beard? Yeah, as a matter of fact, this is the, the portly, joyous, white-bearded man. And let's see, yeah, it no, is. It is. It is. It it's is Santa, Santa Claus. And he rep he represents the welcoming of a very festive season. 
There's our security group. There's our security group. Merry Christmas. I actually think a lot of the holiday really begins in our community with Thanksgiving and when, when those busloads of Marines come in and have dinner with the families, our residents. Every year the Marines come and enjoy a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. This year there were two busloads of Marines who just enjoyed the day so much and they actually told several of our residents that it was the best Thanksgiving dinner they have ever had. So it's a wonderful way to start the holiday season, Joe. And hopefully you have the, we have the hot chocolate at the Red Sail Park where we're headed to, man. That'll be our next stop. Another wonderful year in here in Fairfield Harbor. And Merry Christmas, Anne. Merry Christmas to you, Joe.